Super. Inna Yarova and her husband moved to Poland seven years ago. Since then, they have managed to take on the competitive Polish market. We've opened the smallest cafe in Poland. Even the local Guinness Book of Records proved it. And now we have three chains, cafes, restaurants and bars in Poland and the Czech Republic. When Russia's full-scale invasion started, Ina became a volunteer as well. Ukrainian refugees could get free coffee in her cafes, and her team gathered donations for military first aid kits. She also tries to help Ukrainian entrepreneurs enter the Polish market. One such opportunity was in business forum called Be Brave Like Ukraine. We invited Ukrainian speakers who have lived in Poland for 10 to 15 years and run their businesses here. Some are at the top of the Polish Forbes list. They can share their experience with Ukrainian newcomers. The forum was named after the Ukrainian national communication campaign Be Brave Like Ukraine. The slogan is meant to boost or call attention to the quality that Ukrainians are most proud of – bravery. Organizers say bravery and their resilience help Ukrainian business people jump in and succeed in the European market. Because of their social protection, Europeans are more stable and calmer. Ukrainians, on the contrary, have to survive constantly to make decisions quickly because we don't know what could happen tomorrow. The organizer of the forum, Natalia Panchenko, says the success of Ukrainian businesses abroad is crucial for the homeland. When a Ukrainian company enters the Polish market, it expands. Most of the businesses were already started in Ukraine. The Ukrainian economy needs, roughly speaking, to be pumped with money. And it is elementary to pump this economy with money from Europe, since there are thirsty buyers here who can buy goods and services. An example is the shipping company Nova Post, which has operated in Poland since October. The firm has already opened 31 branches across the country. Today, our goal is not to become a prominent player in the Polish market. We are more interested in connecting Ukraine with Poland, connecting Polish business with Ukrainian business, or, for instance, Ukrainian buyers with a business in Poland. Some are calling for businesses to expand their role beyond monetary support and take a more activist stance in helping the war effort. Besides donations, they must urge European businesses to leave the Russian market. If they stay in Russia, they will stimulate the Russian economy, which helps pay for Russian missiles, which, as we know, have even reached Poland. All proceeds from the Be Brave Like Ukraine Forum are going to purchase generators for hospitals in Ukraine. The aim is to buy 47 at a cost of about $200,000. Lesia Bakalets, VOA News, Warsaw.